Good morning. Hope everyone's having a great day so far. It's Saturday and um, it's kind of quiet here. The husband is out at an old car show. So I figured why not stream? Let's go. man alive and the victim of a curse was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialist on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morin. Mm, pulse weak, but ready. Okay, so we left off with Disturbance, Find and Help Yennefer. We did two... Uh, Treasure hunts for Witcher gear. Oops, nope, not that one. So those are done. We have a couple left that we can take care of, but they're in different areas on the map. So we'll probably go ahead and take care of these Skellige ones because I want to get all the Witcher gear I can, even if I'm not going to equip it all. And these contracts, yeah, we need to take care of contracts to um, they're all in Skellige and we need to find these blacksmith's tools as well okay that's DLC yeah there's several things here we can take care of that are <clears throat> excuse me lower level than we are but the main story is really low level, so let's take care of it. Vesemir told Geralt that Yennefer had set up her trusty megascope as soon as she arrived at Kaer Morin, but could not get it to function for the life of her. This news greatly troubled the Witcher. If Yennefer was planning to use her megascope, that meant a conversation with other sorceresses was in the works, and that in turn meant scheming, politics, and other things Geralt truly could not stand. <laughs> Our inventory, okay, that's good so far. I think we took care of some of that the other day. So let's um, hold this. Look around a little bit here in Caremore. No reaction to dimeridium. Oh, what I saw. Okay, this is where we enhance our armor. Okay. Look, like that? Pretty, isn't it? Oh, Vesemir. <laughs> he's just giving me good vibes. The way he's uh, talking to Uma. Don't mind me looting our place of living. Mm, pulse weak, but regular. It's not stealing if it's where I live, right? Or grew up. Okay, these are just gonna be books. I assume I'm not gonna pick those up. Look at the fire. Out here, pupils functioning. I believe we have all those books anyways. Is there a chest over here that's nothing in it? Okay, I think we'll just stick to the looting on this uh, first level here <laughs> and then we'll go check on Yennefer. See what she needs us to do. So, Care Morin is pretty big. We could spend all day just looting. Here. 
Ooh, can I not? I can't get to that. Oh, can I climb? Hmm. I to think about that one. Can I climb up here? Oh, I can. Platter? Okay. No, thank you. You can keep it. Talk to Esco in a minute as well. Oh, something is hanging. The outline. Okay, and that looks like that jackass over there, Lambert. Oops. See the red outline? I guess it means I'm close. Maybe. Something to look for. Let's talk with Lambert while we're over here. We'll circle back around and talk with Esco. Now look here. Can we talk? What about? You haven't changed a lick. That disappointment I hear? No. Surprise, maybe. Most grow gentler with age. Seems you're growing pricklier. Mom always said I was different. Had some other adjectives in mind, but different will do. <laughs> nice to be together again, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Just missing Siri. Thanks for reminding me. I had to change the subject. Heard a sentimental sob making its way up from your gut. Any idea why she's returned? <sighs> Shortest version, she's running from the wild hunt. Damn. Going gets tough and you need help, you can count on me. Oh, well, thank you. See you later. Yeah, take care. Okay, so he wasn't being a jackass then. All right, let's go talk with Eskel. Look at the fire. Now look here. Pupils functioning. We need to talk to Vesemir again? Because he's doing a lot of serious, interesting things with Uma over there. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to take that book. We already have that book. Uh, several copies of it. Don't mind me, I'm looting your chest. Oh, weak, but regular. Why is there blood over here? Look at the fire. Now look here. Pupils functioning normally. Use. Oh, is this like... What is this? Use. What does this mean? Mounted witchering just never took off. Mounted witchering? What? Hold this. Mounted witchering just never took off. Mounted witchering. No reaction to dimeridium. What? Okay. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Uh, these are new. I met with a mirror. Any crowned heads you haven't met? <laughs> a few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of it, fought together. Tamaria, Redania, Cadwin, Eden. And the mages were heroes. On the field first, then in ballads. Not much left of that world. Hmm. No offense, but why all the construction? So the roof tiles don't drop on our heads? Roof tiles usually fall from the roof. You're putting up walls, rebuilding the fortress for three people. Why? Because I remember how it was, Wolf, before the massacre. We were 20, and that's just teachers. As for candidates, I can't turn back the clock, I know. But I refuse to just sit and stare at these ruins. Okay. See you later, Vesemir. 
pull this. Hey, Uma. Can I talk no to reaction you? to die, Marudi. Can we talk? We've tried this before. I think, yeah, I think we've asked all these before. I'm looking for Siri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? He's got a rat hanging from his side. Yeah, we've asked all these. All right, thank you. So long. <laughs> what is this drawing? Can you see the drawing? No. All right, let's go talk with Eskel. Look at the fire. Now look here. Pupils functioning normally. Hmm. Impressive specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped a son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it? Hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Oh, we can look too? Mind if I have a look? Wanna do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Let's save opening up the gut for last. Man, it looks... Dude. This is not what we helped him fight. This is something else. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred. Hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here... They're the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. Open its gut. Ew. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks. She only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Hmm. Think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. Catacan. It would, I agree. But later. See ya, Eskel. Okay, so that's a catacan. Ooh. That's like a vampire. I recall beastuary. Hold this. Uh, let me double check that just to make sure. I think it's a vampire. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. No reaction to dimeridium. All right, let's go see Jennifer. Uh, not Jennifer, Jennifer. <laughs> Changed her name.
Is there loot up there? There's one set of stairs. Uh, let's, let's just double check. I see a box. Chest. Oh. That's, that's wrong. That's just wrong. Alright. No more looting. Let's go see Jennifer. Jennifer. Definitely remember Care More, and it didn't look like this in the first Witcher. Or the second, for that matter, but it resembles it. Uh, oh, she threw here? Uh, this was back when Triss was staying here. She might have been down in a dungeon or something. Whoa! Damn it! Oh God, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Sorry, I was not expecting that. Jennifer, what are you doing? <laughs> You decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. Uh -oh. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Okay, so I guess I should have came to see her first before we took care of Eskel and Lambert's quest because we did everything that she asked. You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So Ooh. upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Oh! <laughs> yes, I know. You'd lost your memory. Whatever. Let hey. us see that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. Wow, she's a spiteful woman. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No <laughs> secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. 
Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. A sage and not so sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. There she Thank is. You for your permission. Just sticking him a little bit. <laughs> all right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta what a? Potesta. Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile <laughs> wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. What? A thank you? Quest, quest items. You have a new quest item. Prepare by placing it in the appropriate slot in the inventory panel, then selecting it from the quick access menu. Which is probably already in there. Yeah, it's already here. We have an update to this quest. Find the source of the magical disturbance using the Protesta Quisitor. As a mirror. Uh, okay, we read all of that. So that's not new. Okay. This actually looks like the room that Geralt and Yennefer were in at the very start of the game. I remember this fire pit. There was a bed. And those. Maybe not. Maybe they just have this fire pit in several of the rooms because there was a view we could get we could look out the window and I don't see where that's possible in here. Alrighty, I'm not going to mess around with looting up in here. We're just going to go. Where is the source of the disturbance? Hey, I guess it's here in Caremore and somewhere. Yeah, these definitely were not the stairs that uh, Geralt went down to go see Vesemir before he went to train with Ciri. kind of falling down. Still beautiful though. Alright, somewhere around in here. Uh, we need to bring it out though. <clears throat> The closer you get, the more it makes noise. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. 
So, Yennefer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. <laughs> oh, something right here. Mounted witchering just never took off. No, that's not it. Ah, there you are. Uh -huh. Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Uh, over here? No, 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 no. Can we talk? Here. So long. Ah, getting warmer. Warmer. Mounted witchering just never took Hot. off. Mounted witchering just never took off. Now look here. Pupils functioning. It says it's right in here. Oh. It's a box. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves. Just keep an <laughs> eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Okay, let Yennefer know you removed the source of the disturbance. Okay. Back up to see her. Hold this. No reaction to dimeridium. run up these stairs but knowing my luck Geralt would fall and have some serious injuries Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? <laughs> you know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. He is mean. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kegnell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Mill and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? 
Waffel Elen, Ked Mil Foli, Gled of Dawn Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iacus. Uh oh. Recognize the dialect? Lathan Undod. Meaning? The so called One Speech, a forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. Ooh. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it, but do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. Me? Hey. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? <laughs> no. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. <laughs> Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. The Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this lathe and Undod... Then it's old. Very, very old. Mm. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Time to lift the curse. Wow, that's a lot of experience. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. <laughs> I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Hmm. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Oh, he got his little toy. He still has that rat. He still has that rat hanging. <laughs> Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Care Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword. And slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. A month? So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? 
Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. <laughs> Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, uh, you didn't want to replace any will. beams. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. <laughs> I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Ah. <sighs> I don't want to, because my heart is with Triss, and I'm not going to. Yen, don't get mad, but- Stop. Suddenly I have an immense desire to drink. <laughs> She's mad. <laughs> oh, man. If I can't romance Triss, so, I'm not romancing anybody. sorceress box your ears again? <laughs> You could say that. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <laughs> She's mad. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. Eskel, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan. Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest <laughs> in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My client threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there, too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. <laughs> Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Pickle juice? For a hangover? What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. <laughs> Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? 
Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He could caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been. But <laughs> speaking of old friends, Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Oh, maybe this is not time for that. <laughs> we were talking about Uma, weren't we? The night is young. Got time to talk about everything. Lambert, you jackass. Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Oh. oh boy, how should we do this? Ah. Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> to restore Uma's former appearance, we must first- Hmm. How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. <gasps> what? Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe mm. later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. <laughs> but the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. Oh, man. You're awfully bossy. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. <laughs> they sound like they're already uh, pretty fueled Ooh. up. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. <laughs> We're about to get tore up from the floor up. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all the bottles. And we're not done? We're still drinking? Cards, oh my goodness. There is no way these drunks could play some cards. It'd probably be funny, though. So, what's this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. <laughs> All right, change the subject. Because you refuse to admit I'm right? Whatever. Fine. Stop being a smartass and poor. <laughs> hmm. 
<sighs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the dragon. <laughs> dragon. <laughs> you and Lambert get along? In a way. I've learned not to talk to him about certain things. Guessing that's quite a list. <laughs> it is. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? <laughs> Alcohol, my good man, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that body? <laughs> Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. <laughs> then, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. <laughs> all right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Eskel. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, man. I don't... I don't know about the cards. That That's not... Well, they all like to play Gwent. It's a Witcher game. But I'd rather... Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. <laughs> Listen, there's this game student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Oh, Sounds goodness. great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. <laughs> oh, okay, Esco. <laughs> How about that? Esco, Esco. Still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. <laughs> Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? Think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. Mm-hmm. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never... <laughs> ...jumped out a lover's window. That's so. Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. <laughs> that wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right, man. Let's end on that, or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went to get food. All right, I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert, bud, gotta tell you something. Yeah? Sometimes you're a real jackass, but I love you, brother. And sometimes you're a real blowhard. But damn it, I go to hell and back for you. Come here, you oaf. Damn, broke. Good thing it was empty. Huh. Where's Esco? Back by now. We gotta look around. This is a job for Vesemir. <laughs> Not again. Take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be 
beleaguered. I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! <laughs> Find Eskel using your witcher senses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Eskel! 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 Spilled some wine and crawled through it. <laughs> Had to kneel down to see that. If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. <laughs> this is hilarious! Eskel! 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 Eskel's passed out. Eskel, chop chop. What? He walked all the way around Eskel, here? Eskel, you drunk! Get out of here! Did he go outside? Eskel, chop chop. What? That's not where the vodka is, is it? <laughs> Esco! 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 Hey, you hear that? Sounded like panting of a wounded wyvern. Damn it! We missed a fight. Uh oh. Sam and the source of the noise is coming from over there. Oh, great. We're drunk. We're going to try to fight. Let's go. Chop, I hope chop. not. I think he, I think he hurt himself. What's one scar more or less in his case? Makes no difference as I see it. Ah, uh -huh. Eskel's close. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Esco is laid out with Little Bear. Esco! He snoring? Esco! He's snoring. Hey, look, there he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. <laughs> that hat that Lambert has on. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? Uh, what happened? Got sloshed. Stewed and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up. Believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert, believe you've had your last drink. You're just jealous you didn't think of it first, but is that any reason to spoil it for us? I don't have the strength to argue. Of course you don't, cream puff. <laughs> Bet I could take you with one finger. Hey, relax, Lambert. Wanna fight? Huh? Wanna? Come on! Good night. Too funny. <laughs> He's laid out on the floor! He's not even in the bed! Damn. What a dream. That wasn't a dream. Uh oh. You're in your knickers. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. See, everyone's up and at him. Hmm, a reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. <laughs> Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. Oh, he threw you can up give on the it. boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then. 
but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him, essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Yeah, sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. <laughs> Old people, bunch of hoarders. Right, so what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait, why couldn't we- Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I- <laughs> And disinfect the tools. Well? Chop, chop. Hey, gather the necessary ingredients and brew the decoctions of grasses. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations, extrapolated some data, ran simulations. Meaning you guessed. Mm. <laughs> Let's look at that quest. This is new. So the other one has been completed. Traveling via Geralt's most beloved means of transport, teleportation, Yennefer reached Kaer Morin first, immediately started bossing everyone around. <laughs> Not only did she divvy out chores to the witchers like a school mom, whipping lazy pupils into order, she also refused to reveal any details of her plans. Though Geralt was not exactly charmed by this behavior, he knew he had to help her for Ciri's sake. So these are going to be working in connection with each other. Uh, was there any new glossary items? No, just the new formula for the alchemy. What does it require? The quest. Forktail Spinal Flu, which we got. Manicore Poison Gland. Now Bino Bruxa Tongue. Hope, hope that's over there. All right, let's go the save and let's go on over here. Oh, okay, everything's in there. Nice. Okay, brew the decoction of the grasses. <clears throat> Jennifer. Potions ready. Tools too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel. Make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Please don't hurt hurt him. I don't remember what happens. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. <sighs> I know, Uma. I'm sorry. The hook we'd work. If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Oh, gosh. I 
had hoped. I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table then? Yeah, well, Lambert does have a point. I have to Geralt, agree. Next potion. Oh, last one. to do their work. Might take a day. Might take more. <clears throat> you need only wait. True. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Oh, just threw up on her. Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. Has to stand there doing that for how long? <clears throat> uh, I can't believe we're doing this. Wiping vomit off the floor? No, a trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. <laughs> no offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that too. Hours later, Is that normal. Yes, Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens, we will use spells. off no I'm just arresting my eyes yeah it's called sleeping <laughs> then do something to keep me awake uh oh pinching's apparently effective later perhaps for now talk to me tell me a story heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating no not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first, then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As Soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on, He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never severe. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Ne. 
Leggett, Kariba, Endio, Geralt, the phylactery, open it. Canitab, Taran Anadir. That does not look like Siri. That's not Siri. Who is this? Elf. <clears throat> Havelock? You know him? Yes. An elf. An elf. A sage. Where is Siri? The Isle of Mists. But it's not... She's not safe. The hunt. So this was the elf that was helping her. How did he get a curse put on him? The hunt. What's it want from Ciri? Her blood. Her blood. Elder blood. To open the gate. We cannot... We cannot allow this. Isle of Mists, where is it? Everywhere and nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Ravain. Arwen. Sram. In Skellige. Follow it into the mists. Hurry. Hurry. I tried to protect her. But the curse. The hunt has not found the isle. As yet. It is a matter of time. But if she leaves, they will. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... know. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through, do you understand? I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him. He's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Ciri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? What's your suggestion? Ciri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance. Time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise. And they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. Oh, we need to gather some allies. <clears throat> Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good-looking women in that batch? Mm-hmm. Exclusively. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avalak to care for. He's certain to die without gentle gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf, and give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. That is done. She's used those words on us. Ooh, level 28. 
Should we try to talk to this person? Wow, 1,200 experience points? Uma has been updated. Yennefer. Have a lot. Lots of things happening. Lots of things happening. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm not going to remember all these. Okay, those are all the people we're going to go recruit. Why that one failed. That was like an auto fail. Let's do a save. Why did that fail? Let's take a look. Oh, because I killed Kira Metz. <laughs> That's why that failed. The one person in Villain who could help Geralt battle the wild hunt was Kira Metz. Witcher hoped their long-standing relationship and the sorceress's concern for the fate of the world would incline her to take part in the battle. That is why. Brothers in arms, Nilfgaard, Vizima, talked to Emir Bar Emeris. Geralt realized the fight against Aradin and his soldiers would most likely be the most difficult challenge he had ever faced. In addition, the stakes were higher than ever before. This time, he was not fighting for his own life, but that for that of Ciri and by extension, the entire world. Since extraordinary circumstances call for extraordinary measures, the Witcher decided to swallow his pride and go to the Emperor of Nilfgaard for help. Novigrad, we need to talk to Dix, uh, Dixstra, Roach, and Zoltan. A direct fight against Aradin and Wild Hunt had become inevitable, and Geralt knew he could never defeat them alone. He thus decided to seek out allies, and his first steps took him to Novigrad. Skellige, Aramon, Croc, and Circe. Nowhere in the world can one find warriors braver than those born in Skellige, and thus Geralt set off to those isles in the hunt for allies to stand with him against a wild hunt. Okay, the Isle of Mists. Talk to friends who could help defeat the hunt and ask them to join your fight. After a long search, Geralt was at last a step from his goal. Avalok had hid Ciri from the hunt on the magical Isle of Mists, which could only be reached if fate deemed one worthy, or by following a magic firefly, which was decidedly the easier option. Geralt thus readied himself to sail to the Isle and bring back Ciri. Oh man, it just got really, really interesting. Let's look at the glossary. We have... An update to Yen, Uma, and this new character, Avalok. Avalok. The being trapped within Uma's tortured husk turned out to be Avalok, a powerful sage of the Ein El Elves. Geralt had made his acquaintance years before. Already during the, these prior encounters, Avalok had displayed an intense and frankly rather unnerving interest in the Elder Blood and its bearer, Ciri. His exact motives were unclear at the time, and he had made no particular effort to explain them to Geralt. Geralt, likewise, had no idea what bound Ciri in the elf now. There was no doubt Avalok had helped her, had saved her numerous times from the wild hunt. But why? A last sage quivering on a razor's edge between life and death offered no answers to Geralt's burning questions. He did, however, muster enough strength to utter a crucial piece of information. Series location. Okay, Yennefer and Uma. Okay. Though so Yennefer and Yezimir agreed Uma was suffering from a powerful curse, they could not reach a consensus about how to go about lifting it. Sharp words were exchanged before Vesemir stepped in and announced that before Yennefer did anything, he would try one of the traditional Witcher methods. All that was left 
for the others was to wait. Though Vesemir's method had worked to disenchant the famous swan of Povis, it brought no breakthrough here. Vesemir did, however, succeed in confirming that Uma's body was a sort of magic prison in which some other being was trapped. Yennefer's method did not pro prognosticate a high chance for Uma's survival, yet was now the only remaining option for lifting the curse. The ritual succeeded beyond their wildest expectations. The person cursed inside Uma turned out to be none other than Avalok, the powerful elven sage the witcher had met before. When had we met him before? Was it in one or two of the Witcher? I don't remember meeting him. I might have looked that up. And again, my memory is like a sieve. Okay. Though the sorceress's difficult character had made life miserable for everyone at Kaer Morin, in the end, it was her stubborn determination that led to Uma's disenchantment and the lifting of the Avalok's curse. Okay, was that everything, I hope? Alright, I think what we're going to do, we're not going to, let's see, level 22 is the main, level 22 is the level for the main story. Okay, we have this that we can take care of. We can go get this bear school gear, it's level 20. And Skellige, I guess back to Skellige we go. Uh, 116 of 160. All right. We talk to him. No. Just looked at us. Okay. Where'd Yennefer go? Talk with Yennefer and Vesemir. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Okay. See you later, Vesemir. Nothing new there. Excuse me, but Vesemir. Running me over. Oh, Jennifer. Geralt. So, feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Oh! Moments like this. Oh! Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, uh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. Whoa! What did Aridin want from you, exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with them. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later, and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. Hmm. How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. 
I knew I had to find Ciri before Eredin did. And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Uh, let's save that for last. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. Hmm. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eredin would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Found something that might belong to you. That skull some sort of accessory? If so, you've changed your style a bit. It's a weapon. Don't remember ever seeing you with that? It's as you said. I've changed my style. That's the skull that she threw out into the open and destroyed all those people. And we found it at the very, very beginning of the game. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Oh, we got some experience from that. So now that's, that crystal skull should not be in our inventory. Yep. It is gone. I don't think I ever turned that in um, the last time I, I played this game all the way through. Let's go hunt some bear school gear. Travel. I'm not trying. Oh, I just want to put a marker down. I'm not trying to fast travel. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I should have did before we. Le I need to do something with my armor. Where is it? Over here. that can be enhanced. Oh, that takes care of... What? Oh, my, my weapons aren't on. <laughs> Put those on. Okay, good thing I checked. That would have been not good. Now, let's enhance our weapons. There we go. That's better.
Uh, hang on a minute. I want to check something else in my chest. And we have a skill point to use. We are level 28. Okay, we gotta be level 35 for this. Okay. All right. Anything else we need to throw in here while we're here? Uh, let's go ahead and transfer this. Slow down, you passed the steps there, girl. Skelly, there we go. Ooh, let's click that. Okay, there's something there. Well, this one is on a little island that looks like Australia. We can maybe do that first. Search the ruins of Clan Dorsetch Castle. Let's do that first. So let's fast travel here. The curse that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name was the elven mage who had helped Ciri flee the hunt, then hidden her away on the Isle of Mists. Young quiver in your breeches as if Ragnarok were a hey. king of the tower. We should have sent her out of nowhere. And disappear like the others. Not a chance. The tower's cursed. It's brought the gods wrath upon us. What is this about? Towers out of nowhere. Level 30, talk to the villagers. When whipped and rain battered, Geralt stumbled into a small village on the coast of, an, of On Skellig. The foul weather he learned had cursed his, this spot ever since a mysterious tower appeared one morning out of thin air, as if placed by an invisible giant's hand. Intrigued, Geralt decided to investigate. Well, let's just talk to him. I'm not going to do the quest. Who do we need to talk to? Witcher. Hey, you guys. Hey, Witcher. You. What is it? I got a job for you. There's no point standing here in the rain. All right, let's go to mine. We'll talk there. So what's the matter? 
You see that node beyond the village? Weren't a thing there for centuries. Till one day we awoke, bam, there were a tower atop it. Then all of a sudden lightning started pounding down. As if the Noggle Fair itself was sailing in. Hasn't stopped to this day. Something's got to be done. About the storm. With waves like that, we can't fish nor sail out to raid. You tried getting inside the tower? Have we tried? Very same morning the tower appeared. We went right off. Whole village or near boats. Folk wanted to welcome its owner if he came in peace. Drive him off if he came with ill intent. We knocked and banged, but no one answered. So we opened the door, and that's when our knees turned to jelly. Why? Because beyond that door was something like a sheet of water, but standing upright. Never seen such a thing in my life. Druid said it were magic. Gathered five brave lads, and they all marched in. No sign of him since. Hmm. Fine. I'll look into the tower. Once you're in, cast your eye around for the folk from our village. Our druid and five good lads. Ah, oh, it'd be a bitter shame to lose them. You have my word. Hemdel, guide you. Okay. Let's look at that again. Okay, we just need to go enter the tower. Where is... I'll just see where that is. Probably in the same area. No, it's over here. Okay. All right. We'll take care of it. Uh, we have nothing in... Pockets, rather. Porch. Oh, that's that thing that Unifer gave it. Oh, no, no, no. Looking at the wrong thing here. Is this the thing Unifer gave us? Yeah. Okay, we can take that off now. Put our torch there. All right. And I'm going to take a quick break so I can uh, let my dog go outside. One of them, she's, she's not been feeling the best the last couple of days. So I'm going to let him outside. It's probably going to be at, le at least 10 minutes. So I will be Maybe. back. Oh, ow. Okay, I'm finally back. So I know I have a skill point I still need to... To do something with but I'm gonna wait so I don't bore you guys with trying to figure out what I want to do next so when we come back the next time I'll take care of it then time let's see where we gotta go uh, looks like we could just bottle this out and around and then there's an undiscovered area there too I have an armorer here. Okay. It's raining. Put on your tunic. It is raining and thundering and lightning. I'm not. All right, we're going to cut across. I hear something stomping. You guys hear that? Where is that coming from? Oh, probably that tower. 
Oh yeah, I see it on the mini map. All right, I'm not ready to do that yet. just in time. Uh, where are we going? Up there? Okay. Huh, how are we getting up there? We've, we've been up there before, I think. Uh, let's put a marker right here. Let's see if we can slide down this mountain without hurting ourselves. Okay. That's it right there. How are we getting across here? I see something below. Uh, I also see a path this way. Let's jump down here for a minute. Oh, oh, be careful, Geralt. Be careful. not call this a path. It looks like a path on the map. That is not a path. Alright, let's figure out how to get over here. Oh, I guess that'll work. not been here before. All right, search the ruins. Some light in here. taking us down.
race. Okay. Oh, there's something. On you. I'm into my trap. Any more race? There's a I see a lever over here. This place is riddled with race. I see them. All right, what is this? Ballad of Tolgare the Red. Hark, I shall sing you a tale of a Yar brave and true, a warrior bold, friend to his people and to his foes wrath unrolled. Like a sturdy ship, his courage never leaked. Mighty was Yar Tolgare of Clan Torsaj, or Torsaj. For a man so grand, the Isles had plundered too few. So up Alba's shining waters he sailed with his crew. Arriving at the city of Golden Tower's walls, he raised, ravaged, and roared, and shook the Emperor's halls. But Nilfgaard knows to such a strife with coin, and so out cutthroats crept the Jarl in battle to join. Lured by the fattened Nilfgaardian purse, the Skellige sailed bandits, villains, and worse. Girded for battle, the Jarl stirred stood in his fort, yet Nils know no more honor than demon or short. A catapult they brought against the Jarl's mighty keep, the walls crumbled, burying his warriors deep. An ocean of rubble swallowed men, a great many. Here we name but few of that noble company. The pilgrim tore, Stig of Norborn, slumbering Sifgard, and the Witcher Gerd, to the last the Jarl's faithful guard. Rest of ballot ineligible. Oh, those are the books we already collected. Okay, let's do another quick save here. I don't think we can get into these rooms. We need to probably pull that lever. Oh, died in prison. So maybe this lever. We'll open up that main gate. Uh oh. Yeah, it opened up a bunch of gates, a bunch of race. see what's happening.
Oh man, these poor people. Like that. Let's see what's in here. Something on this body. Had a day star before. Okay, this night these night gauntlets are a little just a little bit better. Piercing, bludgeoning. I think I'll leave on what we have. All right, let's go upstairs and see if it opened that gate. steps oh no we gotta find another way okay say I know we came down those steps don't tell me we had to jump down into that area that doesn't look very good it's like death definitely scary let me just double check make sure I didn't miss something I don't see anything else <laughs> what was that noise Oh, the gate closed. any of that. Or gentlemen, I guess. Hey, nothing back right here. Alright, let's go up the steps. Some more oil on. We have 16 left. I think we really do need to get some better gear.
there's something up that way. All right, nothing up that way. This is the only way to go. All right, let's uh, blast this. Okay, looks like we're back on the main floor area now. That. I see something sparkling. I see sparkles. of Witcher Gerd, Chronicles of Clan Turstitch. Armor, boots, gauntlets, trousers. Ballad of Witcher Gerd. Righteous and brave, of death never scared, such a man had we in the Witcher Gerd. Pursued by foul foes with intentions most vile, he made a last stand on Art Skellig's fair isle, fighting all the while. He arrived on her shores amidst sobs and bawls. Help! A dragon on elven ruins crawls. Hefting his sword in an expert grasp, he set off at once and slew the winged ass, smiling as it drew its last gasp. But fierce as foes followed in his path, hounding his footsteps, hearts brim full of wrath. At night they attacked, using darkness as shield. To no avail, soon their own lives they did yield. By witcher's hand was much blood spilled. Tis a witcher's right nature to guard men from beasts. So Gerd's silver sword did not rust in his sheath. Instead to clan Tursich from Sirens defend, he forthwith to the caverns of Molesine did mend, and took the first step towards his end. Fragment missing. Yar Torgid returned and exclaimed with pride, fortunate he who has his friends at his side. Proud is the Jarl who can quit his home keep and find in his absence no dangers did creep, and which are saved all from death's deadly sleep. Okay. Chronicles of Clan Tursich. And so there was so there was much rejoicing in the castle with the appearance of an ignorant monster slayer in the person of the Witcher Gerd, Jarl Torger, whose face in the months since the death of his battle brother, Igmar, had worn a listless and saddened frown, came alive with renewed strength. Yar and Witcher fast found common tongue and soon were venturing on hunts together and hosting feasts at which there was no end to laughter nor bluster. Then Jarl Torgan told Gerd of the hideous Striga which prowled the ruins of Etner, desecrating that once proud fortress in happier times had stood a steadfast guardian of the northern expanses of Ard Skellig. The Jarl's layman moved the Witcher, who announced he would slay, said Beast. Yet Witcher Gerd was a craftsman ever diligent and true, and so explained he first had to complete a prior contract and rid a cave on Spike Roof of Sirens. So the Jarl gave Gerd a full pouch of coin and the services of Olven, Org's son, as a guide to take him safely to Spike Rook, and, if the danger grew fierce, to fight the sirens at the Witcher's side. His heart filled with gratitude, Gerd entrusted an armor diagram to the Jarl, one he had long carried and held most dear, as a token of his sincere intent to return as soon as he had finished his allotted task. Everybody died. Everybody. All right, so that is done. There's one more bear school to get. What oh, the heck was that noise? I didn't pull any levers. But I'm about to. Oh! One final wraith here. Come on, Missy. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bunch of rays here. to hunt us. Alright, hang on just a minute. Take a sip of my coffee. Alright, we are done here. Sword away, Geralt. Let's do a save. Alright, let's run across here and jump. What you goats doing up here? Uh, excuse me, goats. <laughs> They're all in the way. me oh boy all right uh slide on down okay that's the end of that but there is something over here I would like to investigate hear that animal over there. Let's see if we can go this way.
Yeah, that's not working out. Let's see here. All right, let's continue going around, I guess. Marker here. That's gonna be a mountain. That, and we tried this. This did not look like a pathway at all. At least not to me, it didn't. Yeah, I hear you stomping around over there. See you stomping around. We don't see you. Should we try our crossbow? We haven't used our crossbow in a while. Onward! Ever fight a witcher? Okay, they kind of got a leg up on us. Came faster than what I was intending them to come. sandwich okay nothing there a little camp up here okay there's the witcher sign <laughs> we, we already got the gear might want to look around some so now can't be more with your gear around here oh uh, no that's an explosive barrel That's why I was up there. I should have stayed up there. That looks like a path, but I don't think he could climb that. I'm afraid I'm going to go slide into my death. Yeah, that does not look safe. Oh, 
he's down here. What's this? Let's do a save before we go adventuring down in here. Hey. up there stomping around are we right <laughs> right below him man it is dark I cannot see a thing I saw some loot though Diagram. Elven sword. Further up in here. Can we get there without drowning? Oh, my air's almost out. sword diagram. Whoa! Gargoyles! Hang on. <laughs> um, those are what kind of beasts? An ogre? No. Nope. Um... It's an Elementa. I would have never have guessed that. too many buttons. Um. Oh, you sucker. I'd rather get you. You're almost down. And I'm almost down, too. And I'm dead. take these guys, but just not both of them at the same time.
be of climbing up there, though. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna try this one more time. The, the area to fight is too small to tackle both of these dudes. And they're like laughing at me too. Screw you. Can we get out of here? I'm out of here. I'm outie. I bet they had some good treasure too. I might have to put a marker on here. Come back. Get me out. this way. Climb that girl, come on. All right, screw this place. I'm way down here. Wow, okay, let's go over here. Oh, more bandits. Didn't I kill you guys already? decoctions don't seem to be doing all that great in my opinion portion of the damage dealt by enemies is reflected back on the attacker okay damage dealt to foes regenerates vitality well, I dealt damage to him but my vitality is sure not going up that fast all right it is a struggle bus today, I tell you. Get some better flipping gear. Maybe that's a problem. That over there. Alright, got some drowners down here.
they go? I thought there were some right here. I see them over here. Travel marker here, that's good. Look like sirens up there. Let's see, what are sirens? Save here. Monster's nest. Yep. Harpies. got their nest here. Yep, take all that. All right. That's done. Still need to figure out how to get to that. But there was another quest around this area. They wanted us to take care of. Power out of nowheres. Yeah, it's right over here. So let's go on over there. That's it. We heard an ogre or something stomping around. Oh, that's a portal. It looks like a portal. Portals. A portal. Shit. <laughs> Great. 
portal closed. Hmm. Looked smaller from the outside. Intruder detected. Cease your intrusion. Leave at once. I don't think so, Mr. Gargoyle, or whatever you are. Hopefully I do better with you and your comrades. Our Elementa, right. That's the one I would have never guessed. Yeah. Golems and gargoyles. Elementa. And this Demetrian bomb that didn't seem to do anything. Failure to leave when summoned. Intruder neutralization commenced. <laughs> Calm down. Bastard. Oh, that was cool trick you did there, buddy. swings that got greedy. Oh, you're not gonna fool me with that again. body first no loot from no loot I saw some loot up here though I will help you in a minute Mr. Priorities. Colin probably greeted them too. 
All right. Golem probably greeted them too. Korea, please. Finally, someone's come to free me. And a famous witcher at that. Thank the gods. I'm damned lucky you happen to be in Korea. Was it King Tancred who sent you, or the Society of Magic? Neither, and we're not in Kavir. We're in Skellige. Mm-hmm. Local folk hired me. See, your towers brought a massive storm to their island. We're in... in Skellige? So we've teleported? Oh, this is much worse than I thought. Not sure I follow. Oh, the tower is outfitted with a, a defensive regulatory magic on. What? A defensive system. Magic. Ensuring only the tower's owner will use it. When it detects an intruder, it locks down all the rooms, denies access. And since neither of us is the tower's owner, the golem attacked me and you're stuck behind bars. How do we evade its other charming features? <laughs> we must deactivate the defensive regulatory magic on. The tower's prior owner wrote a treatise about removing such defenses. Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. There must be a copy in the tower. Find it, please. With it in hand, I can try to circumvent the security measures. Send you home and take the tower back to Kavir. You clearly know who I am. I don't even know your name. Sego Bunce. Mage and sorcerer in residence at the court of Pompanis. This tower was to be my new home. Bought it at an auction, you see. A tower mm. at an auction? It belonged to Gottfried Stamfeld, a mage of some renown. When he passed on, his heirs auctioned the edifice off. They were all wary, repulsed. None dared see what Uncle Godfrey kept in his colored jars. If it was their contents that had stripped him of his sense of smell and taken his left eye, they put the tower on the block, along with all it contained. The price was unbeatable. I couldn't resist. Seen my share of wonders, but a tower that teleports itself? That's something new. This defensive regulatory magic on. I tried to access it. Must have heard. Initiated some evacuation sequence. That opened the portal and jettisoned us through to Skellige. This, in turn, naturally generated electromagnetic disturbances. Hence the storm. Storm I promised to dispel. Then you must find Gottfried's omni-opening grimoire. The corpse is over there. Folk from the village nearby, right? They came in a few days past. I was surprised to see their garb. But it just never entered my mind we might be in Skellige. There were just a few, led by a druid. The tower warned them. They failed to heed. Folk on On Skellig usually laugh in the face of warnings. If the tower had asked nicely, then offered them a horn of mead, they might have left then. Huh. Right. Time to get out of here and send this tower home. Where do I look for Godfrey's treaties? Any ideas? Hmm. The library might be a logical place to start. The key should be in the laboratory. Where's that? As you enter the room opposite, you'll see the laboratory to your left. The library straight ahead. But remember, you're an intruder. The tower is certain to want to stop you. Make things difficult at the least. We'll see who breaks first. The spell. Try to smash that barrier. Okay, great. So... By you, if it is Need to go find the key. And it may seem like he is... Oh, okay, he removed one of the wards. And I don't think there was anything else in here we needed to see. We got our porch again, because it's dark. I don't remember doing this quest. Alright, save. See what awaits us in here. Intruder in tower. Aqueous countermeasures, in effect. Yep, we know. 
You're going to have some bad things come at us. but we can't do anything with it. In this water. Uh, let's see if we can drive down. No, just a big ship. Alright. There's a way to go. There's a way to go. Of course, we must see if we can't go this way first. We have... The killer whale? Did we ever get that? No. We're still missing the daggone Belisi fruit. Alright, let's see. Let's see what's this way? Nope. Okay, we can't even get through that way. Alright. I answered that question. Going this way. Algols. Algols. How do we take care of algols? Are they a form of necrophages? And now we gotta put their spines back in. Yeah, they are. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. torch out. level is really high. here. Elementa oil. Aha! Seriously? I was in your circumference or radius of that? Spit no poison on me. You son of a gun. <gasps> wow, that took half my health. It's 
Sorry, you guys. I keep hitting that button by accident. You. Whoa, that was close. Oh, dang. Now, what is this? Oh, werewolf. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. We need to put some oil on. <laughs> This is crazy! We know werewolves don't like fire, right? Let's hope that works on him. We gotta get away from you, buddy. Let's get our health up. Oh, man. So we're gonna have to fight three, at least three different enemies. Okay, Al Ghul's first. Um, what did I say they were? Or necrophages. Axie. Yeah, we need to use Axion. Ooh, boy. No, you won't. Let's do some healing up here. Oh wait, let's take that. Must be the key. My health back. Uh, let's do some more looting while we're up here. Not your lucky day. Ooh, that was close. Oh gosh, here he comes. Oh, uh, are you? You gotta be kidding me, right? Back off. Don't get greedy. Okay, 
okay, now we got the vampire to deal with. Or can we just leave? <laughs> Maybe we could just leave. Put the, oil, the vampire oil on just in case. had to fight fight him so why fight him if we don't have to uh what you can't go through there oh we can unlock it okay all right what's next jeez what level is this quest level 30 oh no wonder i'm struggling should probably not have done this. Oh, I have beaten other quests. Okay, well, come on. Yeah, let me save. Why can I not save? What? Okay, I can't save. All right, well, whatever. Who's who okay. among Kaviri sorcerers? I save now. No, it won't let me save. Okay. Alchemy for Household Dilemmas, Volume 3. This isn't it. Find Godfrey's Omni Opening Grimoire. Okay. There we go. Take it. Godfrey's Omni Opening Grimoire. This is it. <coughs> oh. Okay, we got some poison in here. Godfrey's Omni Opening Grimoire, the Defensive Regulatory Magicon, or DRM for short, belongs to the above-mentioned group of the longest-lasting, most effective, and hardest-to-break defensive mechanisms. In order to recognize the individual administering it, it makes use of portal mounted at the of a portal mounted at the entrance of the area it is to defend. This portal passes streams of magical energy through the body of the person entering and can, in the blink of an eye, determine if this person has the corporal signature, eyeball structure included, of the entitled administrator. As a result, the only unauthorized individuals that can possibly hope to enter are mimics. DRM thus makes for an extremely effective and near unbreakable security measure, but you are in luck. For you hold in your hands the key to bypassing it, namely the present tome, God Godfrey's Omni Opening Grimoire, or GOG for short. Oh, check that out, GOG. <laughs> in the pages to follow, you will find innumerable methods for deactivating DRM, or even better, bypassing it altogether. There's some other Damn stuff in here, though. Wants to gas me. We must get the other stuff. Applied golemancy. Gotta keep looking. Oh man, I'm, I'm. I need to get out of here. <coughs> Let's get out. Get our breath back, and then we'll run back in there because there is something else. There's some other loots. Like he suffocated. Horrible way to die. <laughs> the loot. All right, now let's get the heck out of here. <coughs> there we go. Oof. All right, back. to save a lettuce. Okay, I still can't save. Nope, already, whatever. That doesn't seem right. 
Where's your book, dude? Open up this. Find the tome. Yes. Let me out. This it? It is indeed. Now, back away a bit. I must deactivate the barrier. What are you, if there is Advigiat? Isolation chamber open. Uh-oh. What now? Disturbing indications of freedom. There. At last. What have you that got us into? It. The hardest part is yet to come. We must reach the heart of the tower and cast a deactivating spell. Oh gosh. We're not the tower will surely do everything in its power to stop us. Ah, uh, let me prepare. Give me a minute. Need to prepare. Of course. But please do hurry. Let's um meditate. Get our potions back. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and use those decoctions again. I know we just wanna use it. Let's go ahead and use this too. Get that ready. All right. What? Why can I save? What is going on? Okay. Break the tower's defenses with the mage's help. Let's ready? go. Can we go? Yes, let's do it. Lead the way. We must go to the central chamber. Try to power down the security measures. The defensive regulatory magicon could react. Be on your guard. Osvayu, if there is Advigiat. I hope you can offer some help here, mage. Following him. Intruder detected. Defensive regulatory magicon. Encroachment detected. Okay, you want to put your weapons on, Garrett? What, what is happening? We have an elemental here. Um, you want to take your silver sword out, please? Whoa! Encroachment Initiating he is not helping. He's not doing anything. Okay, don't get into the lightning. That would be bad. Getting into the lightning. There. 
Godfrey's treaties proved highly useful. It's over. Had you not arrived, I'd still be in that cage, surely. It's a trifle, but take it, please. Proof of me gratitude. Thanks. Though I'd be more than satisfied if you calmed that storm, then took this tower somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Consider it done. And should you ever visit Kuvir, do stop by Pomvanis. Aburagi, Barathean. Wait, what are you doing? Maybe he sent us out. Let's hope. Uh, not this way, the door. <laughs> Moonblade. Lesser runestone, okay. Let's look at that weapon. Oh, it's not as good. Oh, man. When are we going to get some good weapons and armor? I mean, this was a level 30 quest. All right, so I guess we need to go back and talk to them. Let them know everything's good. Not thundering and lightning here anymore. I'm swimming. Good thing you didn't hit me both. Look at that. I hear it will last me off me. You're welcome, villagers. You're alive, and in one piece. One soaking wet piece. Will you teach me to fly? Another time, maybe. Never seen such marvels in me life. Boom, flash, tower disappeared, and you was fallen from the sky. And the storm, gone in an instant. Now, didn't I tell you? It's what of which we needed. Hey, can't do better than an expert. And expert work deserves a fitting reward. Oh, yes. Couldn't agree more. Always knew on Skelligers were honest folk. Hey, well, if you ever come through here again, stop in. You'll be welcomed with open arms. Thanks. Farewell. Wait, Witcher. Did you happen to see me brother in there? Horn's his name. He went in with the druid and a few other lads. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna be honest. I found your friends. All dead, unfortunately. Sorry. Told him not to go. But he wanted glory. Ah. Let's go home, y'all. No point standing here. Farewell, Witcher. Thanks again for helping. You're welcome. Okay. Power out of nowhere's has been completed. 40 experience for that? What? So these little side quests, they don't give you much experience. It's the main missions that give you the experience. And we just have the one point that I will look at and decide where I want to spend it. And we have a mutagen that we can put in here as well. 
So, let's see. We are still working on treasure hunt for when we come back. That is... We're here. But I still want to work on... Okay, there's an undiscovered place there. Still want to work on what's going on over here. But we will save that for the next time. We are going to end this session right here. Oh, let me gather this blood moss. So thank you very much for being here. Boy, it was a rough one for Geralt today. He died several, Don't several times to those rock Hart trolls or whatever they were. Gargoyles. Hey, Gargoyles is what they were. That's what. Fighting was a very, was a challenge today, to say the least. It was a challenge, but we survived and made it. Anyways, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next time. Bye.